Our first guest tonight, you know, from her numerous stand-up specials, Broadway shows, reality programs, and occasional outbursts of profanity on New Year's Eve. Her new stand-up special is called Kathy Griffin, Girl Down. It premieres June 22nd at 9 o'clock on Bravo. Please say hello to Kathy Griffin. <laughs> Very physically fit. It seems like yes. you're more physically fit every time I see you. Well, I'm angry and bitter and hungry all the time. Oh, good. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> Otherwise, you doing all right? No, I'm not. I'm having a hard time. You are? She's gone, Jimmy. She's gone. Who's gone? She said farewell, and I am not taking it well. Who did? Oprah! Oh. Oprah, Jimmy! I can't stand it when you sit there like nothing happened because it did happen and she's gone! You know, it's so painful I think I blocked it out is what happened. Well, I'm sorry, we're going to have to have a recovered memory because <laughs> that whole extravaganza, which I would liken to a combo of the Super Bowl and the Academy Awards, except way better, uh -huh. was such Your an amazing... Your week? It was a crap fest. you got to throw Let's some go. of Michael Jackson's funeral in there, too, because yes. it was really like a combination oh, of we'll all of there. those things. We're not afraid to go there. Absolutely. <laughs> and then, of course, the last day was just a sermon. It's a really sermon was. with her in that salmon dress with some drapery off to the side and giving a <laughs> shout out to the Lord. It was ridiculous. And I'm not having all the praise for one more second. Now, I will say it isn't just me because I wisely watched the two like star studded extravaganza good nights yeah. with my 90 year old alcoholic mother who's here tonight. <laughs> oh, you brought a picture of your mom. So is here fun? is a picture of my mom halfway through a box of wine. <laughs> really, you're cheering? You're cheering that she's still drinking. <laughs> and right, why not? And so my mom was yelling inappropriate things at the television. At Oprah? Can you imagine? She had to be hammered to be yelling at the almighty Oprah. Oh, wow. And she was yelling things like, oh, for God's sake, she's not the Messiah. <laughs> You'd think she was Jesus H. Christ at this point. And my favorite was, it's not like she's Judge Judy. <laughs> is... Really? <laughs> That would be a send-off. That would be a send-off. But I will say there were some parts that I found sort of mystifying, you know. Like? Um, well, Oprah's odd ponytail that looked like the back of a horse. You know what I mean? It, had, it was very chopped off. I didn't and notice then that. at one point, this little white opera singer who was about six years old came out. Yeah. And even Tom Cruise looked flummoxed, and that takes a lot. <laughs> so there were many moments, and there were so many stars. It was almost as if she got kind of bored after a while. You know, like, oh, Josh Groban. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Patty LaBelle, whatever, wrap it up. But I did enjoy the, mo the most insufferable moment, which was Maya Angelou reading that awful poem over and over. Oprah, 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 Oprah. Am I exaggerating? She said it like 17 times in a row as if Oprah was like, I got it, that's my name. <laughs> and I was fascinated by the so-called appearance by Stedman because I still maintain he was a hologram. <laughs> He's missing. He has not been seen. Have you seen Stedman? I've never seen him. He's I've never touched him, that's She's, for sure. It's, well, no. The Will only you touching, be watching the OWN network? I am obsessed with OWN. Okay. Oh, you are? How are you doing with the Judds? I'm doing great with them. Okay, so first of all, who's the mother, who's the daughter? Right? Um, yeah, there's Naomi and Ashley Winona, and Winona. Who I think looks so much like Elvis that my theory is that Elvis is her real father. Because she looks just, look at her, she looks just like Elvis or Lisa Marie. Wow. I think You know, that it's a family shrouded in secrets. And I love OWN because it's all women on buses sobbing. <laughs> and that's all they do is they get on a bus with a life coach. We should do that sometime. We should get a life coach. Uh, sure, why and not? And just cry it out. And um, <laughs> do you find that you wake up every morning like Shania Twain and just say, why not? <laughs> why not? Shania's on a journey. Is she on a journey? She's on a bus crying also. Why is she on a bus? Why not? <laughs> that's what that's, you, a good that's the frame of mind when you're watching OWN. So no particular reason. But you yeah. are watching OWN, which is what's important. I can't believe you're having Sarah Ferguson on next week. Oh, are you excited incredible. about that? <gasps> Finding Sarah? I want to find her right now. <laughs> that is going to be fantastic, where she was trying to sell the husband for 500 pounds yeah. for like a handshake, but a million if he hugs you. Oh, that's going to be yummy. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I got to get into that with her yeah, because they're she, all good. isn't that a crime? I mean, shouldn't she be in jail right now? No, she should have a reality show on her. <laughs> <laughs> you um, you brought some photographs. I know yes. you were in New York last week. Well, now I'm really running in the high fashion couture world where Are I belong. You really? Yes, now that I'm a teen model, mm -hmm. and I. <laughs> I BS'd my way into this event called the FDCA's, or I can't remember what it's called, but it was some sort of high fashion thing. And um, I was on the red carpet, and it was so tacky because I would not leave that red carpet. I saw so many celebrities, and you know who had the most security out of everybody by far? Who? Olsen twins. Oh, really? Yes. I don't think Barack Obama was safe that night because <laughs> it's as if they had all of his security. How many do you think they had? They had like 16 guys going, back away, back away. Oh, really? And you know, they're little with those big children of the corn eyes. Like <laughs> <laughs> and they pose like that. <laughs> and if you try to touch one, they will cut you. <laughs> and who is this? You took a picture okay, on so the Okay, so then carpet. at the end, I had to just wait and wait. Wild horses couldn't get me off that red carpet when I saw Lady Gaga show Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, that's got to be really, that's a prize for you. That Lady is Gaga. a fantastic get. So she had yeah. on a blue wig and she wears these stilts like this and they're sort of shoes and she's very beautiful and she's this big, she's tiny, but she had this corset on and then she had a train that was about 15 feet long. And I took that photo because as she was somehow walking in those stilt shoes, her train was gathering all of the garbage and debris of New York City. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody would believe me unless I took the picture because I'm sure it was fabulous haute couture. <laughs> and yet, as you can see, there's some like garbage remnants in there. Yeah, oh, and I think I there's a little like urine soaked toilet paper <laughs> and maybe some candy wrappers. Lady Gaga some... cleaning up New York City. That's yes. really nice of her. She's like, she's a giant Swiffer is what she is there. Exactly. And she was born that way. We're going to take a, uh, <laughs> a quick break here. Uh, Kathy Griffin, Girl Down premieres June 22nd at 9 on Bravo. Still to come. Happy birthday, I want to say to your My mom. My mom's 91st birthday is tomorrow, you guys. Are you having a big party or anything for her? Yeah, we're having a big party, and um, the featured gift, of course, would be a box of wine. Mm -hmm. So she'll be tipping it, and then she'll black out for a while, and then later, when you talk to her, she'll say none of it happened. <laughs> well, that sounds like a lot of fun. She hey, might slip you a roofie. Be careful. I know you, um, our next guest, J.J. Abrams. He was my Groundlings student when I was a teacher at the Groundlings Improv Troupe. Wow. I know. So back in the day, I've known him for a really long time. And oh, we so actually, you got to know him then. Well, we you're... went on a double date one time, and I can't can't remember if I <laughs> or not. So it's, Is it because it's, of the box of wine or? Uh? No, I don't even drink. We went to, for frozen yogurt. That's how easy I am, by the way. It's like a medium frozen yogurt. I'll never mind. I'll I, ask him. I'll, I'll ask him when he gets out I don't think I here. did, but I, I don't know. I hope he liked it. I can't remember. And not only you have this big. I'm America's uh, sweetheart. <laughs> This is your ninth stand-up special uh, yes, televised? Yes, I do, I'm doing four stand-up specials just in one year on Bravo called Girl Down, and it's a lot of scandalous talk and real-life stories and ridiculousness. But I've also been pretty busy, so I'm also doing, as a challenge to myself, four Lifetime movies in one year. Wow. And they're all biopics. So all I biopics. A, yeah, I bought a clip from one tonight. I hope you get it. It's pretty moving. Well, okay, well, great. Well, we have the clip here. Uh, well, I guess we don't, we don't have to sign it. No, we're I don't just showing. This is your new biopic. <laughs> yeah. Which comes out soon. Mm -hmm. She was a simple housekeeper from Mexico. <laughs> he was a simple governor from Austria. Hola. She was there to clean, but he wanted it dirty. Hi. Theirs was a forbidden love. I want to ravish you. I want to hear the lamentation of the woman. Okay. I'm going to give you pleasure that would be unbelievable intensification. Your body's a wonderland. Our love making will be inconceivable. Como? Da. No comprende. Da. No entiendo. Da. Por qué? Señor. Hasta la vista, baby. Oh. Kathy Griffin is Mildred Patty 
Baena. Me gusta el chalupa el del gubernatorio. And introducing Kevin Nealon. Baena! In the role of a lifetime. Dada! Quiet, baby! Dada! Da! The Mildred Patty Baena story. Only on Lifetime, the place for lady drama. Kathy Griffin, Girl Down, premieres June 22nd at 9 on Bravo. And Kevin Nealon, you can see, performing this weekend, June 10th and 11th, at the Comedy and Magic Club in Hermosa Beach. He's got a charity benefit on behalf of Friends of Big Joe. Thank you very much for being here. Kathy Griffin, everybody.